Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a fascinating topic that has been making headlines recently. We'll be discussing the rumors surrounding former President Donald Trump and allegations of racism. But what makes this conversation even more intriguing is the perspective we're about to dive into. We have none other than Judge Joe Brown, renowned for his expertise in law and his bold opinions. Get ready because Judge Joe Brown is about to destroy the Donald Trump is racist rumors. What What is your take on Trump? Is Trump a racist? Is I don't Trump think a so. racist? I have talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s, were early 90s, were trying to get financing. They couldn't. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave him a term loan. Show up with the interest in the principal, one check. But they had to go see him personally. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? Said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. Hmm. And this was when? This was back in the 90s. Back in the 90s. See, most people don't even know this. He had a sister. He was... Every time you saw him back in the night, his fine paper bag, brown, beautiful black model. He likes fine women. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. So, I mean, she says he's not a racist. He just doesn't like many people, black or white. And he appreciates people who do stuff within their lane. Hmm. Uh, well, not stay in their lane, but where they choose to be, if they do it well, he admires them. Black, white, brown, red, yellow. Most people don't know this. He did was the finance man behind Jesse Jackson's two runs for president. Hmm. Wow. So, you know, he talks, but I don't mind somebody talking. I think we've gotten too sensitive to that. That's part of the effeminization of the country. I remember in junior high and high school, hey, man, I won't say nothing, man, but last night when I saw your mama, man, you don't know I was over there because you were asleep, man. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We ran the dozens. That was our sport. Mm -hmm. So we were used to talking about each other. Now, man, he talked about my mama, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> do, do you think... Uh Trump will get reelected? I think he's going to get reelected. Mm. Uh, this impeachment mess we've got right now. Wow. Yeah. There's a thing called the U.S. Constitution, and the Constitution says the president is the chief diplomatic officer of the United States. It puts no limits on his discretion. It simply says that if he comes up with any treaties, they have to be ratified by the Senate. If a treaty is ratified by the Senate, it becomes part of the supreme law of the land. The president and other elected and appointed officials are under oath required to follow the law of the land. The State Department, Secretary of State are part of his cabinet and are essentially advisors to the president. He's the boss. So what he does relative to Biden is simply what is allowed and mandated by the Constitution, specifically Article 1, Section 8, that says the president is charged with, quote, enforcing the law of nations. Amen. We have an Interpol treaty with various European states and also one specifically with the Ukraine that requires that we basically investigate, apprehend, prosecute, extradite, criminal elements and criminality mm -hmm. so Biden out of his own mouth and I've heard this tape twice uh, January this year he says well 19, 2019 he says I guess I broke some laws <laughs> extortion I told mm -hmm. the uh, Ukrainians if they didn't get rid of this uh, the prosecutor prosecutor's name yeah, is Skoa, anti Skoa, the anti corruption prosecutor. Yeah, he said Ukraine, if you don't right? get rid of him, we'd withhold eighty-five billion dollars in loan guarantees. So his son, who had just been discharged for the military for being a junkie, uh, had a drug problem, had no history in business. He affiliates with this, and at the time, Biden was in charge of 
the U.S.'s Ukrainian posture and relations. Uh, Obama had assigned him that. And by implication, he brought Obama into committing a crime in office, which is a felony. It's extortion. He committed one extortion by out of his own mouth, uh, threatening to withhold 85 million and 85 billion in loan guarantees Woo. if they didn't get rid of this prosecutor who was zeroing in on that corporation that his son had just been hired to represent after Biden Senior had uh, been assigned by the president the task of dealing with Ukrainian diplomacy. So, son gets $18.5 million out of it, and he has no background other than a dishonorable discharge from the armed services for drug abuse. But one last question. Do you think black people are missing an opportunity with Trump? Yo. You've got somebody that is not a lifetime Republican. He's been a blue dog Democrat for most of his life. He usurped the Republican Party. So I think this thing I've been tweeting about, no benefit, no vote, ought to be the deal. We haven't gotten a damn thing out of the Democratic Party for a long time. And hmm. the last one, number 44 and the one before that, 43, Bush and Obama, well, there are pictures of Bush with his arm around uh, eight-year-old Barack Obama because his stepdaddy, adopted daddy, Lolo Sotoro, had done a lifetime worth of business with the Bushes. Uh, wow. Uncle George Herbert Walker, after whom George Herbert Walker Bush, Bush won president, was named, founded Halliburton in 1946 in Oklahoma. And Lolo Sotoro had been international executive vice president for Standard Oil. There, there was talk of him being a CIA asset. Oh, well, yeah. Indonesia. See, he ran mm -hmm. the death squads for the Indonesian mm -hmm. Army. On mm -hmm. his own call, anyone could be assassinated. So when George Herbert Walker Bush became head of the CIA under the Ford administration, he just got with his old buddy in the oil business, Lolo Sotoro, and pulled off the hits. See, uh, Barack's grandmother has been acknowledged as being the woman that operated the channels through which CIA money went to the Southwest Pacific. So she introduced her daughter, who had just had Barry, Barack, to Lolo Sotoro, and they got married, and Lolo Sotoro adopted Barack Obama. The name was changed to Barry Sotoro. Mm -hmm. Now, when he went to high school in mm -hmm. Hawaii, I know yeah. about that high school. I almost sent my oldest son to it. I could afford it, but I didn't think he observed, deserved it. Twenty years ago, the tuition was $95,000 a year, not including room and board. Ooh. When Obama went there, I've talked to two of his classmates. They independently state that the tuition, not including room and board, was 45000 Now, Business Insider reports his income for 2017 at over $200 million net. That's after taxes, deductions, write-offs. Mm -hmm. For this last year, 2018, they reported it as $570-plus million dollars. And that's after all deductions, tax, right? Trump doesn't make that net. I mean, even some of the richest people in America don't make that. Why? Because when his stepdaddy died, he was one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. And he left everything in a trust fund, operated out of Indonesia, oh. so the American government can't touch it, mm. that makes Barack Obama one-third beneficiary for the assets of one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. See, wow. so we got a game run on us. So, mm. you know that little thing that Bush W. does when he gets with Michelle, they giggle and he gives a candy. The inside thing, is that supposed to be the same kind of candy he used to give to her husband when he was six, seven, eight years old? Oh, wow. That's all for today's discussion. We hope you found it enlightening and thought-provoking. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. If you have any other topics you'd like us to explore, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay curious.